Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, I'm here to do my end of year video, so my top 20 of 2022. It's actually, I think, a top 22 of 2022. And I don't know if I am going to keep doing these each year, whether I would, you know, do 23 next year. Like, I feel like that just gets too big. I think May... No, last year I think I kept it at 20. Anyway, it's 22. We'll just have to deal with that. Um, so, yeah, there's a whole bunch of wax here so just to recap how I do these um I've been doing them since 2019 that was my first year in vendor wax 2019 I did it on Instagram uh because I wasn't on YouTube yet every other year I've done it on YouTube um my only sort of rules for it is one to be on the list it has to be wax I have here in the house so there have been scents that in here in this pile I think there's at least one that may have featured in a previous year because it was a favorite back then too but i just um didn't have it <laughs> so um yeah it has to be something that i have on hand and uh no repeats so there are scents that you know obviously i still love that were favorites in previous years but they were in previous years so i don't cover them this year uh finally um it's not like it's you know only scents released this year or anything like that so it's just of things that I haven't covered in these videos in the past, whether that be new scents I've found or scents that I've topped up on and I still love, some scents that maybe I just love a lot more than I used to, um, that can happen too. So, um, yeah, so that here we go. Let's go through my top 22 of 2022. Um, so I'll start with the vendors where I only have one scent and then I'll work my way up. It's the same, so the vendors that I have the most scents here. It is the same ones every year. So if you've watched these videos in previous years, you'll know who's going to be at the back end of the video. Um, so the first scent I have here is uh, this one from Pumpkin Parcel. So this is Crying, Crying the Dunn, I think, from um, her Outlander collection. So this is a scoopable. I looked up the notes before. It's like fresh green forest trio of mint, soft vanilla, and something else. It is just the most amazing, fresh, green, refreshing scent. Like, I would not know those notes when it's melting. It is just so beautifully, yeah, just crisp and green and fresh. I can smell the mint, like a bit of a mint in here, but it's not a strong minty scent by any means. It is just absolutely beautiful. Oh, there is a floral, there is floral. According to the scent notes, there's floral in here as well, but... I don't really pick up a floral other than I think it just adds to that absolutely beautiful, very spring-like freshness. So I think that's where the floral comes in. So yeah, I absolutely adore this one. Um, definitely one of my favorite house plants from Pumpkin Parcel for the year, uh, which is why I ordered it in a scoop. The next scent I have is Hayden Row Cozy Cabin with my scrawled notes. So this is Bergamot Raspberry Eucalyptus mint pine cedar and musk so this is just a fantastic pine raspberry scent i've had other pine scents with raspberry before from other vendors and they are like it's a good combo but this one i think because it's got those other notes the freshness and the eucalyptus and the mint like not overly so it's got a touch of cedar it's a lot more complex than some of the others out there but gosh that raspberry just it just absolutely sings with this blend and it is so strong and just amazing so I only have this clam because I actually don't I don't know when I saw it I wasn't all that convinced by it but I am definitely onto this one now I will need to get more of it I love it a lot the next um, scent that I have is a custom of mine from Kay this is Jenny of Old Stones so this is Oak Moss and Amber, Tonka, Oud, and Warm Vanilla Sugar. So I've talked a bit about this year and in previous years about how much I love this Tonka and Oud oil. It's in one of my favourite scents. I sent from my top 20 last year, Khaleesi from Teddy Bees. It has that Tonka and Oud oil. And that is what inspired me to do this custom because I, went, I wanted to take that... It's a, it's a cologne-like scent, and it does have a woodiness to it, but it's definitely not like a typical oud scent, you know. It's just, it's very interesting. It's very um, unique. And I wanted to take that, and I wanted to blend it into something. I wanted to give it like a kind of 
that mossy freshness that you get from the oak moss and the amber. And I did the Tonka and the Warm Villa Sugar because those two go together in Khaleesi really well. So it's kind of like taking an element of that Titty Beast Khaleesi but taking it into a, in a mossy, green, fresh direction. And this absolutely like nailed the brief. Just perfect. So yeah, I, I adore this one. It turned out even better than I hoped. It's just the perfect, perfect set. I do need to do more with Tonka and Oud, I think, because I, I just love that scent so much. All right, the next one I have is Dessa's Vanilla Butter Fudge and Palo Santo. So this is a Builder Bar. Um, I've done this combo, not in like a custom form, but I've mixed this combo before with like L3 and stuff. It's... This is the sort of scent that, like, it's great. No, I feel like it's a great combo no matter who you did it with. So, while I love this Dessa's version, um, I could melt this combo anywhere. I kind of put it in because I love the Vanilla Butter Fudge Palo Santo combo together. Um, more so than, you know, being a specific vendor blend. Although, I will say this one, you get the Palo Santo really strongly when this one melts. And I don't know if that's just because Dessa has a great strong Palo, but... You get that kind of spiced, smooth wood. And the, the vanilla butter fudge, like, it's not like a really sweet kind of fudgy scent. It's almost got like a little bit of a bread-like kind of note. I don't know. I love it. And this, So this combo is just fabulous. So I will definitely need to do more of it, whether I get the two scents separately and blend them, or I don't know, I don't care. But vanilla butter fudge and Palo Santo together, just so freaking good. These bags, they get so, they are just a little bit small for the bars, I think. I mean, they fit, but the enclosure gets, the clo the, the zip top gets very, very waxy, I find. Uh, next up, alright, so that's all of the single vendors in my top, so vendors with one cent that are in my top 22 this year. Uh, now I'm on, I've got a couple of vendors that have like two cents, and then everyone else is more than that. So the next uh, vendor on the list is Scoopable Tart Wax. So I've really been enjoying uh, melting from Scoopable this year. I've found that Scoopable for me uh, performs. So Scoopable as a company is linked to Rose Girls because the owner of Scoopable used to own Rose Girls. Jenny, who now owns Rose Girls, is Kathy from Scoopable's daughter. So a lot of the blends are shared between the companies because they were in Scoopables first or, you know, they, they, they are, you know, they're linked because they are family. And what I've found, what I've been really enjoying is that I do find Scoopables Scoop Wax tends to perform better for me than the hard wax for both Rose Girls and for Scoopables. So I've been really enjoying getting certain scents that maybe didn't perform so well from Rose Girls for me in the Scoop form because then I can enjoy them. So the first scent is exactly one of those. Uh, very lovely bread. I think Rose Girls has a very lovely blend up on the website at the moment. I did have a look and I was tempted, but I said no. Um, because I do think that... What was I going to say? Like I said, the... Sorry, I got distracted because there's family going on out there. I've got the door open just because, yeah. It's kind of late afternoon on the Saturday. Um, I think I was just going to say that I nearly got it from Rose Girls and didn't because I know that the very lovely combo is not the greatest thrower. Even in the Scoop of Wax, it's probably still medium-ish, but that's good enough for me because this is an amazing scent. So this is Wild Berry Lemon Cookie Baked Zucchini Bread Blackberry Jam Cookie and Marshmallow Smoothie. So... The Berry Lovely scent, the Wild Berry, the Lemon Cookie, and I think Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie, it's just so beautiful. The berries blend so well with the lemon. The lemon is not like over, like it's the le I think it's the Lemon Sicilian Cookie maybe that gets used. And I love that lemon bakery oil. Like, it's a really delicious smelling lemon without being like over the top like lemon curd or anything like that. Really, really lovely. So it's just such a delicious combo, and then this just has zucchini bread in it. And the zucchini bread they use, I find, is not super strong, so this just adds a little bit of extra bakery. But, yeah, absolutely one of my favourites. Love, love, love this scent. I always wish, even in the scoopable format, I still wish it performed stronger. It is just not a strong scent. But at least in the scoops, I can melt it and I can I can smell it pretty well, particularly if I'm melting it in my spoiler spaces. It does well there. So 
Um, it's one of those things, even though the performance isn't quite there, I still always want to have it because I just love it so much. Uh, the other scent, and I'm melting a scoop of it at the moment. Um, I'm just not sure what I did with it. I might have put it away in the wrong drawer. So I grabbed the non-scoop that I have of it, the non-scoop from Scoopable. Uh, so this is Blackberry Mango Birthday Cake. So this is a Blackberry Mango Birthday Cake. Pretty simple. And this is another scent that I, again, had from Rose Girls. Love, love the look of the pies. Um, had from Rose Girls. Love This one actually probably didn't perform too badly. Um, actually I think it was blackberry mango cup of cake I had, not birthday cake, but I find they're pretty similar because it's mostly blackberry mango that you get, uh, with just like a bit of a kind of light bakery scent underneath. Um, yeah, that one I didn't find performed too badly. I've just been getting it from Scoopable because I order more from Scoopable these days and I haven't seen, I think maybe Rose Girls has poured a blackberry mango blend like once. So whereas this has been poured a few times from Scoopable this year. It is just incredible. Her blackberry, so I've had blackberry mango combos from a few vendors and they are always good, but hers is just the best. Oh, it is so amazing. One of my favorite like fruity kind of scents to melt on a summer morning. I like melting fruity scents with this light kind of bakery scent um, on a warm summer morning. And this is exactly the sort of thing I try to reach for. Oh, so, so good. So, yeah, I'm, I I have been, I think I melted a scoop from, in this last week. So, it might be sitting in the wrong drawer because um, I couldn't find it when I was pulling it before. So, I've got this half pie to move on to when I finish that scoop because I love that. Um, next vendor up is Ebony Violet. So, two cents here from Ebony Violet this time. The first one um, I discovered, I think. I first got it in like a New Year's Eve pre-order that she does uh, and then I ordered more of it not long after that so Tommy and Keisha so this is Barbershop Blackcurrant and Amber so um, I did not know I was like a Blackcurrant sorry a Barbershop fan until I got this set and even then I don't think I necessarily am but this one just give me a second Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's so good. The amber with the barbershop smells amazing. So it is like a cologne scent, but the black currant just, it's like blackberry, but deeper and kind of sexier. And it just goes so well with the amber and the, the barbershop. Like this is kind of polished and it's, I, I don't even know if I'd say it's masculine because I feel like the black currant really pulls it away from being like a really heavy masculine scent. But I just, I love it so, so much. So, um, and this one throws phenomenally well. So, fantastic scent. The other scent that I have from Ebony Violet this year is Morgan Freeman. So this is black currant, fire roasted marshmallows, crushed cranberries, smoldering woods, vanilla ground cinnamon, and warm amber. So again with the black currant, I really, really at the start of this year just got these black currant scents from Ebony Violet and went, whoa, these are incredible. Her wax is so soft and it is a bit of a, I wouldn't even say it's a warm day, but there has been a bit of sun and it's so smudgy. But still, her wax performs amazing for me. Um. Yeah, this one is a crazy, complex, amazing blend. It is a bit, um, I think I've said this before, and it's not the same blend by any means, but it, the complexity in it reminds me a little bit of By the Campfire. If you've tried that oil, Heavenly Violet has had it, uh, Rose Girls has had it, probably other vendors have had it as well. Uh, it's like a blackberry, smoky, merlot marshmallow cocoa sandalwood very complex really amazing scent this one i think because it's got the smoldering woods and the marshmallows and maybe the touch of cinnamon as well like i feel like that's where it's got a similar base but you definitely smell the cranberry not like a super strong cranberry but you definitely get that sharpness from it and it's just it's warm and it's but it's not like, you know, even though it's got the cinnamon and the cranberries and you can smell that, it's not like a, you know, like one of those kind of mulled, spicy kind of scents. It's 
it's different and it's incredible. So I love this one. I probably haven't quite melted as much as I wanted to, only because I do. I did find sometimes it gives me a headache, but not all the time. It's not like a permanent headache trigger. Um, but I just love it. So I do want to get more. I am trying to be on as low of a buy as possible for 2023. That is my plan. We are planning a holiday to Bali. <laughs> um, so very excited about that. We haven't been overseas in a very long time. Um, so I am in savings mode. So I won't get into my, because I don't plan to be on a complete no buy, but I do have some things that I will allow. Um, but it's going to be very, very limited, at least for the first half of the year, because we're planning to sort of go, I think, in June. Um, but I'm hoping to carry that through the year because I need to get, I need to get, have less wax. Um, so I think the first test for me on that will be Ebony Violet usually does an epic New Year's Eve pre-order. Um, and I may, as like a last order for the year, if there's scents like Morgan Freeman there, I may go in and get them, but that will be my cap off for the year. I've actually been pretty good. Uh, I haven't purchased anything in December and I don't think I purchased much. I don't know if I've built anything since Wax Wednesday, which was like over a month ago. That's very good for me. So, um, I've definitely kind of, I'm, I feel like I'm in the zone for not buying wax, but we'll just have to see. All right. So next, so I have only three vendors left for... I mean, I haven't even, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've done eight cents of my 22 and I have three vendors left. So it gives you a bit of idea. Uh, I'll do L3 Waxy Wonders next. So I think I have one, two, three, four cents from L3 Waxy Wonders. So the first thing I have is one that I feel like I talk about every other week in my weekly empties and unempties videos, spiced oat milk and cafe cubano. So this one is just heaven it is heaven um it is like the coziest oaty milk drink gently spiced that i've ever well i've never really smelled that before but that's what if if i had a drink like this in front of me i would just you know it's just Maybe not now, but you know, in the winter months. But even then, I do. I actually don't mind this even on a warmer day. Like it's just a really lovely comfort scent in the mornings. Like when I wake up and I just want something to make me feel better, this is the scent. Even though the um, Cafe Cubano is like a coffee scent, this is not strong coffee to me at all. I don't. I don't really think it's coffee at all. I mean, I can tell how it is, but it's definitely not. If you're looking for a, like a coffee scent. This isn't it, but oh my goodness, it's so good. <laughs> um, I've already been through, I think, one bunt pack, one bitty betty loaf. So this is my second bitty betty loaf that I'll be starting soon. And I now have three more bunt packs because I just know that this is a scent that I will melt again and again and again and again and again. The remaining three scents from L3 are, um, sorry, the light's probably shifting in here because the sun is sort of, you know, on its, so it's very bright, like here. Sorry, I've been probably admiring, I got my hair done today. It's just the timing. I like to do a big color change before Christmas and then I go, oh, I've done the color change. I should do my 20, top 20 video because that's what I did last year too. Um... All right, so yes, yeah, so three, there are three, my brain is just, um, customs, but only two of them are customs that I, so custom blends that I came up with, with my brain. I mean, I can say like always with customs when I do them, it's always possible that maybe I just didn't realize and someone else made that blend for it. Like that's always possible. I am reasonably certain though with these two that that wasn't the case, but I just put that out there in case like I'm, you know, claiming someone else's fantastic idea. Um, one of them though is not my custom, so I'll start with that one. So this is black sugar, blue sugar and exotic coconut. I don't know who came up with this blend, but it is phenomenal. I first got it, I think as a sample. It was either a sample or in a small, maybe like a puppy pack or something. And I really wasn't expecting a huge amount from it, but I was just, I was starting to get into that black sugar scent and I went, well, why not? 
but this is just incredible and it's so funny because exotic coconut i actually have a tree tart of exotic coconut i don't like exotic coconut on its own it's really artificial and not very pl it's very plasticky i don't like it but somehow in this blend i don't even know what it does in this blend but it just works this scent is, so black sugar and blue sugar are quite kind of fuzzy, cozy, sort of masculine, a bit cologne, um, but quite unique scents. I feel like the exotic coconut kind of lifts the profile of the whole thing. This one feels like a scent that I really enjoy melting. There's a very specific type of day I like to melt this one. When it's sort of spring or summer or autumn and, you know, you it's kind of, the weather is, it's warm but not too warm it's like it's just and it may be a little bit humid and it's gray so it kind of especially like in autumn kind of those days where it feels like winter's coming because it's very gray it may have you know it may have rained um i feel like i'm being very specific here but you know just those days where it's just like it's not winter but you just you don't want summery melts you want something that's a bit more kind of fuzzy and comforting but you also don't want it to be too heavy and you know overly winter like that's what this is to me i don't know how but shutting the door on me that's okay i think i was too loud so yeah i love 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 this one um yeah i don't know what else to say about it but i love it next up I have Pacific Woods, Frosted Juniper, and Cranberry Woods. I think this one's been re a few times, so um, I think I've seen a few people posting that they really love this blend. I was a bit worried when I did it that it would be too much, because Cranberry Woods and Pacific Woods, and all three of these oils are, very, are the great oils, and they are very uh, intense. So I was a bit nervous, like I kind of came up with a combination. I went, no, I think that's going to be really good, but then when I was waiting for it, I was like, I just don't know if that's going to work. And even on cold, it's just, it is like, there is a lot going on, but when it warms, it just works. Um, you definitely can smell that very distinct cranberry wood scent. So that, that tart cranberry, but the cranberry woods never go sour. Some cranberry scents, the tartness smells sour to me, but never cranberry woods. Um, and, oh, he shut the door because he's hammering chicken for schnitzels. I get it now. Um, so you can probably hear that. So that was very nice. But, yeah, and then the the Pacific Woods is like an amazing pine tree blend. And the Frosted Juniper, I don't know, I, I can't even describe Frosted Juniper, but this is, like, it's icy, it's cranberry, it's strong pine, it's lots of trees. It's just amazing. So, I love this one. Say that. I love them all. That's why these are there in this video. Uh, the next, so the last one from L3 this year is another one of my customs. Roasted coffee, pumpkin pecan waffles, vanilla butter fudge, and sugar shortbread. So, a couple of oils I fell in love with this year, vanilla butter fudge and roasted coffee. Um, and with this custom, I don't know, I just wanted to do something that was very bakery, uh, but had those oils, and I was not disappointed. I am actually, I've only got a few more pieces left of this one, so that is, so one of the things I am going to allow myself, so in my very low buy that I'm doing next year, I've told myself I'm not going to be ordering from L3 ready to ship, so pre-orders, like it's just... I get sucked into that rhythm and I actually haven't ordered in a couple of months. I've been pretty good. But I do plan on doing one custom because I think you can just keep signing up on the custom list. So I'm planning on doing one custom and just putting together a list of all of those scents that just... Because I feel like with L3 these days, I mostly know what I want to do. So this is one of the scents that I definitely need to get more of. It's dense, it's sweet. The sugared shortbread, I think, really blends well with the pumpkin pecan waffles and the vanilla butter fudge. It is mostly coffee, but, I mean, sorry, bakery. It's very little coffee at all. But the roasted coffee, I think, just adds a touch of richness to it. Like, it doesn't smell like a coffee scent or even like a coffee bakery. 
but it just enhances this blend. Oh, this one turned out incredibly well. So really happy with that one. Definitely recommend doing it. Um, and yes, I will get more of that when I do a customs order sometime, sometime, sorry, in the next six months. My L3 stash in particular is at a point where I either need to expand my storage or stop. Um, and I am opting to stop. <laughs> so I won't be doing that custom order until I have worked down what I have. Just, yeah. The, my two motivators for, and I feel like everyone probably gets to this point, um, one, wanting to go on the holiday and saving for that holiday and saving for other things as well, um, but also just this space question. Like, I need to finish 2023 with less wax than I started. That's kind of the long and the short of it. All right, so... How many cents do I have from each of these last two vendors? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so um, absolutely no prizes for guessing who the last two vendors are. Um, I mean, the, the the last three vendors, really, they are my absolute top three vendors. It's been consistent, I think, definitely between this year and last year. L3, Teddy Bees, Super Tarts. And next year on my very, very low buy, those are the only three vendors that I plan on, at least for the first half of the year. Those are the only three vendors that I plan on ordering from. So Teddy Bees, I will do pre-orders. I can't stay away. And possibly ready to ships because I feel like I can't stay away from those either. Um, Super Tarts, I will do ready to ships. So no pre-orders, but going in on the ready ships and just getting those things that I really want. And then one customs order from L3. That I am hoping to cap off at least the first six months with just doing that. See how I go. So, TV cents that I have. The first one, up, oh, no surprises. I feel like if you watched my empties and unempties a bit, a lot of these cents you will have seen. Um, this one in particular, I know I rave about, so St. Valentine. Uh, so, I've got more of this in my ready to ship order which is sitting at the forwarder at the moment pink sugar earl grey tea balsam fur sweet vanilla cream this if i was narrowing this down so i like doing top 20 it's a good variety but if i narrowed this down to say like a top five of 2023 i would find that very hard but this one would be no contest this one would be in my top five if not possibly my top one like this scent just I absolutely just fell head over heels in love with this one this year. It is, there are other scents that are kind of in the same family as it, but nothing that is the same as this scent. It's got, there's something when you take a pink sugar and you pair it with like a balsam or a tree or like a um, silver birch, it's just incredible. So the tree note and the pink sugar slight creaminess and the tea like it's not like a strong tea scent but the earl grey it just it smells insane like it's just incredible combo i love it so much it throws so well this it's just this is just one of my happy scents this one um i mean i do this in order of like vendor rather than in order of favorite scents but this one and uh spice Cafe Cubano Spiced Oat Milk, probably like my top two. Like they've just been incredible scents for me. Absolute, give me joy, make me happy every single time I melt them. So that's St. Valentine's, so I need to hold it over here. Over here is very bright and sunny. Um, next up, a new one. So one that actually only just arrived recently in the last pre-order. I haven't melted everything from the pre-order yet. I have melted quite a bit. I did melt quite a few scents this week though. Um... And they're all very good, but this is probably the only one that I felt was enough to crack into my top list this year. So, Cozy Cookie Cake and Balsam. Um, you can tell, maybe tell there's, I don't know if it's a theme. No, like, I love balsam scents, I do. Um, so this one is Vanilla Balsam Fraser Furs blended with our Cozy Cookie Cake. Cozy Cookie Cake is warm, iced, white cake, beach treats, marshmallow fireside, and signature sugar cookies. So, I already know I really enjoy Cozy Cookie Cake. Um, even though it's got beach nights, which is beach treats, 
uh, which is not a favourite of mine from Teddy Bees anymore. Cozy Cookie Cake has this beautiful smouldering smokiness. It's not super smoky, but it just blends with the sweet notes perfectly that I enjoy it enough. And the Beach the beach Nights, I think, just it just adds a little bit of something without smelling super Beach Nightsy. So I like Cozy Cookie Cake. But then the addition of the Vanilla Balsam and the Fraser First to this, oh my goodness, it's just, it takes it to a whole other level. Um, and I'm glad it's not just Vanilla Balsam. So I do love me some Vanilla Balsam. I did go very hard on Vanilla Balsam blends in this particular pre-order and already I'm a little bit like, if I'm not careful, I'm going to completely just Vanilla Balsam myself out. So, but this one, there's no danger of that because I feel like the Fraser Fur blends with the Vanilla Balsam just to be a beautiful creamy tree scent, you know, and then it blends with the smoky kind of cookie scent and it's just heaven. So, mm, love, love, love this scent. Okay. Uh, next I have... Satsumas and Linen. So this is Satsuma Mandarins, Bergamot, Exotic Fruits and Fresh Linen. I've had a few scents from different vendors that are kind of in the same family as this, but this one I feel like is the best version. It's just, it's a beautiful, warm citrus. And I feel like the touch of, like the, I feel, feel like the Fresh Linen kind of amps the warmth. And then... The bergamot just makes it smell really interesting. But it's so juicy too. Like it has the, it, there's always the danger it'll smell too laundry-like or cologne-like or whatever. But just the, the citrus is just so sweet. Not not even sweet, but it's not like super tart, you know. Um, it's, it's just amazing. So I love this one on a warm day. It's just such a beautiful scent. Uh, the Queen's Dowry. So this is strawberry pound cake. Toasted marshmallows and pecan waffles. There are many vendors that do a scent like this. This is not an uncommon blend. I've tried quite a few of them and this one is the best. The reason this one is the best for me is because the pumpkin pecan waffles, her oil is just outstanding. And then, I mean, she says pecan waffles because you don't... It does smell very similar to pumpkin pecan waffles, but it doesn't have that really sickly, mapley kind of thing. It's more creamy. Um, and I guess that's why she calls it pecan waffles. It could be an oil that's pecan waffles. Maybe I shouldn't call it pumpkin pecan waffles, but whatever. Um, but then her strawberry pound cake as well. Her strawberry pound cake is just my favourite. There's no other vendor that has a strawberry pound cake that's as good. And the two of them together with just a little bit of toasted marshmallow. It's just, it's simple, but it's heaven. So... Yeah, I adore this one. I've tried many pumpkin pecan waffles, strawberry pound cake blends, and none of them like make me happy the way this one does. Balsam Beach. So, this is vanilla balsam, ocean driftwood with a touch of sea salt. So I did say that I do love me some vanilla balsam, and this one is probably one of the most unique vanilla balsam scents I've ever tried. Because the sea salt and the driftwood, like, you got the creamy tree scents, but it kind of cuts the creaminess a bit, and it is more tree-like. And the saltiness smells amazing, and it is just so good. And sorry, the light, I should, probably should have the light on in here, but I am nearly done, kind of. I'm just going to turn the light on. So that's fine, but I feel like, yeah, that's going to be, <laughs> if it keeps moving, I'm like going to end up curled up in a corner but anyway let's just get this video done um so yeah balsam beach absolutely love this combo it's amazing never smelled anything like it from anyone else throws well just really really good all right so i only have one vendor left that vendor is super tarts so five cents from super tarts it's funny i was thinking when i was putting this list, list together i was like i'm gonna get to a point where i've had so many super tarts in my list every year and she doesn't, like, Teddy Bees puts out lots of new blends every year. Like, I love that about Teddy Bees. It does make it hard sometimes because your old favourites sometimes don't come back. Or it takes a very long time for them to come back. 
but I love the fact that you get new stuff from Teddy Bears all year round. Super Tarts is not one for doing many. Yes, they do do some. They'll do samples from time to time. Um, the Advents, you know, she does a bunch of new scents for a Christmas Advent. But most of the year, it rotates through the same scents. And I have, because I've been buying from Super Tarts since the start, since 2019, and buying a lot of it, I feel like there's always new, th there's always things that I haven't tried yet that I do want to try. She has a scent list of like 800, so there's no way I've tried everything. But it does feel a bit like I've ca I'm kind of getting to a point where everything I want to try, I will have tried. But there was still five cents here, so, you know, go figure. The first one is one that I've been in love with, actually, since the start, but I just have never had any of it here, I think. Sorry, I had to listen to what was going on up there. I feel like I either just haven't had it here or it just didn't make the cut because this one has been like a, an absolute staple favourite for me for a long time. This is Arrow. So this is uh, Black Pepper Moss, Silver Birch, Peppermint and Rain. So this is just so, first of all, her rain oil, amazing. I raved about it. Her rain oil on its own was in my top 20 last year. Blended with the, it's um, birch and black pepper, I think is like a type. And then the peppermint, the peppermint is not strong, but it just adds this incredible crispness to the whole blend. So you get woodiness and kind of like a peppery spiciness. Beautiful fresh rain. It is just, it is incredible. This is one of the very first scents that I fell in love with from Super Tarts. Like, I just, yeah, I, I looked back over my list and I couldn't believe that I hadn't ever featured Arrow because it is so good. I do have to have the disclaimer, it probably has a new name now because she did rename some blends and if she, it does, I don't know what the new name is. That's the case with everything here, although I think this is the only one that also doesn't have a name. That I, I mean, has a new name that I don't know what it is. So this is Hotel Cortez. I only discovered this this year. Wax Wednesday last year was the first time I purchased this. Pumpkin pecan waffles, tray lace cake, and cinnamon donuts, I think. Um, I was talking about this, I think, in my last, the last time I melted it. In that, um, Super Tarts Pumpkin pecan waffles is not my favourite. It does blend really well, though, because I blended it myself with Sugar Cookie, and it was fantastic. It... I do find that Super Tarts blends her pumpkin, so Brandy plants to blend her pumpkin pecan waffles with like butterscotches, really kind of heavy, sickly kind of scents. Not all of them, but most of the blends. So I'm not like, while I love pumpkin pecan waffles, Super Tarts is not my go-to for it. But this blend is everything. This is like just like an amazing bakery in that it is really delicious bakery that just holds its own. It doesn't need fruits. It doesn't need anything special. It's just... All of those three oils together just create something fantastic. Oh, so good. I ordered a band bag um, in this year's Wax Wednesday. So I will have more. I feel like I've kind of been hoarding this a little bit. Alright, so... Getting towards the end. Shepherd. So... Clementine, Fresh Balsam, Strawberry, Moss, and Marshmallows. This was in the Advent last year. I don't buy the Advents. I didn't buy this year's either. I wait. I watch the reveals. I note down what sounds really good. And then when she offers the scents as a pre-order, usually sometime in January, that's when I order. That is going to be a tricky one because I'm saying I'm not doing Super Tuts pre-orders. Maybe I'll have to wait until they go up ready to ship. But anyway, I will want some. This scent. The problem with the Advent ones is they don't always come back. Although, with that said, she did offer most of last year's Advent scents in a, in the Chris Melts pre-order this year. So, But she just does these incredible complex combinations in her Advents. And this one is so beautiful. It's fresh. It's got that sweet citrusy clementine. A little bit of strawberry, not too much strawberry, just a little bit. It's not like overly marshmallow mellowy or anything. I just feel like it adds a touch of sweetness. It's just a really, really gorgeous scent. So I love that one. One that um, I feel like I was quite late to the party on because I know a lot of people love this, but Oklahoma, uh, Blueberry and Biscuits. I do love a lot of Super Tarts blueberry scents, but this one probably is my favourite. I also got a 
Bam bag in this one too. The blueberry, she just has a fantastic blueberry oil. I won't say it smells realistically like blueberry, but it's just really yummy. And biscuits. So biscuits, it's funny. We don't really have what in North America you guys refer to as biscuits here in Australia. Biscuits for us, cookies. Um, we call cookies biscuits. I suppose, I think like a scone is kind of the closest we get, but it's still not the same. So anyway. But whatever, that biscuits oil that she uses is just a fabulous bakery blender. So this combo, so rich in blueberry-ish, but bakery-like as well. It's just, it's fantastic. And then the last scent. Uh, so this was from the Palo Santo sampler that she did at some point this year. This is birch, pink sugar, and Palo Santo. So the birch in this one, I think, is... It's not like the birch that's in like vanilla birch. It's more like silver birch and bit of us. Sorry, dog's getting a bit. They're playing something out there, and the dog doesn't like it. So it definitely reminds me of like that silver birch and bit of or silver birch oil that is out there. And that's what you get the most. But then the pink sugar in there, similar to St. Valentine, the pink sugar with this kind of tree-like scent, just amazing. The Palo Santo, not strong, but just adds a kind, slightly kind of spiced wood. Really, really, really beautiful stuff. This scent, like, it is, to me, it is comparable to St. Valentine. But St. Valentine is quite different because obviously it's got the vanilla and it's got the Earl Grey and it's a different mix. But the pink sugar in both of them, to me, they are distant cousins and I love them both. So, that's that. That is it. That is my entire top 22 of 2022. Um, yeah, so good year, lots of melting, like I've sort of said throughout the video, hoping next year is quite different in terms of what I purchase. That will probably make my top 20 video next year a lot tougher. Um, if there's not many new scents coming in, <laughs> then I will potentially be going back through stuff that I have. I mean, there's, there is other scents here that probably almost made the cut, but didn't really, so anyway. I'm going to wrap it here because the dog is very put out by what's going on out there. So, hope you're all doing really well. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.